a more fantastical type of question. Of course, we've lived in an era of fiat money since the early 1970s. Uh, central bank policies have embarked in massive easing measures, as we've discussed over the past 10 years, causing uh, fragility on the fiat currency system. Uh, recently, the Malaysian Prime Minister restated his desire for an international currency system based on gold, which has served as a representation of uh, other smaller Asian countries uh, and also the Islamic world. Uh, China and Russia have also uh, been making gold-friendly statements for years, and President Trump has consistently favored gold standard fans. His economic advisor, Lawrence Kudlow, VP Pence, and Trump-appointed World Bank President David Malpass have all indicated their friendliness towards this fantastical idea. What are your views on this school of thought of the world potentially, if at all possible, returning to a gold standard environment? Well, as I pointed out before, I think that uh, gold as a store of value is something that investors should consider uh, in order to uh, hedge themselves against the tail risk of some degree of debasement of fiat currency. So a slight overweight in gold uh, is something that I'm, uh, how to say, uh, uh, how to say, I mean, in favor of. But the idea that we're going to have uh, a return to the gold standard where gold becomes essentially uh, the main uh, uh, either global currency or the anchor of a global currency with uh, people pegging to the gold price the way it was done with the gold exchange standard that existed after World War II. To my, in my view, that's uh, still a very, very far-fetched uh, idea. For something to be really a currency, uh, it has to be, first of all, a unit of account, uh, and therefore every price has to be set uh, in that uh, uh, currency. I don't see people starting to price every goods and service into gold. It has, has to be a single you know, numerator so that you can uh, essentially look at relative prices of all the goods and services as that unique numerator. It has to be a meaningful and widespread uh, 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 means of payment so that payments can occur with that and it has to be of course a stable uh, store of value domestic and international uh, gold is not a unit of account is not a single numerator is not uh, a means of payment neither domestically or internationally it could be a, st a, st a store of value both for central banks and private investors, but it's kind of highly volatile. You know, it went up in the decade up to 2011 significantly, then it fell almost 50%. Now it's gone up 50, 60%, but there are forces that could push it lower, even if I think it's gonna be go going higher. And uh, we know the system in which things were packed to the, uh, to the gold, like the gold exchange standard, implied that central banks had no monetary autonomy and you could not monetize fiscal deficits. And it was the larger budget deficit, say, of the Vietnam era that were monetized that eventually led to the collapse of the gold exchange standard between 1970 and 71. And we live in a world in which now central banks want to have independent monetary policy. We have large budget deficits they're not going to become smaller and we have to finance them. If we don't finance them with money and with that eventually we'll have debt crisis. So the political economy is run budget deficits and print money. And therefore that's incompatible with having either a gold standard or even a gold exchange standard where everybody is packed to the gold price because that implies no room for monetary easing and no room for fiscal easing and no room for monetizing fiscal deficit. So in this world in which everybody's doing large monetized fiscal deficit, who's going to have the guts of then having tighter monetary and fiscal policy just to peg uh, to gold prices? And as we know, there was plenty of economic volatility, even episodes of severe deflation because gold prices depend both on demand but also on the supply of gold that can change over time. So. Gold as a hedge against some risk and a store of value, yes. Return to gold standard or even a gold exchange standard, uh, frankly, 
I think it's kind of highly unlikely. 